We've got three takes on making sweet potatoes for the holidays. We'll start with a traditional sweet potato casserole from All Recipes, and then make a quick and easy cheesy roasted sweet potatoes from Real Simple, and then finally a show-stopping meringue topped sweet potato casserole from Better Homes and Gardens. This classic sweet potato casserole from All Recipes is picture perfect, and it only has six ingredients. I'm gonna start by boiling peeled sliced sweet potatoes in just enough water to cover until they're tender, about 15 minutes. Once the sweet potatoes were tender, I drained them, and now I'm just going to roughly mash them. I'm gonna add some light brown sugar, some margarine or butter, a pinch of cinnamon, and the secret ingredient, orange juice. This is gonna give it great flavor. Just mix it all together. We're gonna put the sweet potatoes into a casserole dish for baking. So we just wanna smooth it out into a nice, even layer. It smells so good. Now, mini marshmallow. Does not need to be in any sort of perfect formation. It can be a little mounded in the middle. Mm, so good. So now I'm gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes, or until the marshmallows are golden and puffed. Wow, this looks amazing. Just let it rest for about 15 minutes before serving. If you're looking for a super quick and easy sweet potato side, try this recipe from Real Simple. There's no boiling or mashing required. So you wanna start with these cute little sweet potatoes if you can find them, and we'll cut them in half. And if you can't find small sweet potatoes, just buy regular ones and cut them into quarters. I'm gonna put them all onto a baking sheet, and we will dress them up just a little bit with some olive oil. I'm gonna give them a little toss and then lay them flat side down. I'm gonna bake these at 425 until they are golden and tender, about 20 minutes or so. While the sweet potatoes are baking, I'm going to mix together a cheesy topping. Got some Fontina cheese here and some Parmesan. This is gonna make them taste so good. These are tender and now I'm going to flip them over I'm going to sprinkle on this cheesy goodness. I love this recipe because it's sweet and savory. We will broil this for two to three minutes until the cheese is bubbly and golden. Oh my gosh. So cheesy and so yummy looking. And for a final touch, we'll just sprinkle on a little more pepper. Serve these right away. They are quick, easy, and guaranteed to be a hit. If you're looking for a show-stopping sweet potato side for your Thanksgiving table, you'll want to make this meringue topped casserole from Better Homes and Gardens. Start by boiling quartered sweet potatoes in salted water until tender, about 25 minutes. Now that these are tender, I'm just going to lightly mash them with a potato masher. Add some light brown sugar, some half and half, melted butter, orange juice, and some salt. And for a little bit extra of that nice orange flavor, we'll grate in some orange zest. And now I'm just gonna give this a stir, and I'm gonna let this cool for five minutes. I'm whisking together a few egg yolks, and I'm gonna add these to the sweet potatoes. Give it another stir. You can really smell the orange, it smells so good. And now I'm just gonna transfer it to a greased casserole dish and smooth out the top. And I'm gonna bake this at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. So now comes the fun part. We are going to make the meringue topping for this sweet potato casserole. Start with some egg whites. If you have a stand mixer, that's great, but an electric handheld mixer works too. And a little bit of vanilla and some cream of tartar. And I'm gonna mix it on medium speed for about a minute or until soft peaks form. So now I'm gonna turn the mixer to high and gradually add some granulated sugar. And then it's gonna keep going for a few minutes until stiff peaks form and it gets beautiful and glossy. Sweet potatoes are ready. I'm gonna to top them first with some chopped pecans and then we will spread this gorgeous meringue on top. If you wanted to get super fancy, you could use a piping bag for this, but I think just spooning it on is easier and still looks cool. And make as many or as few little swirls as you want. 
Now I'm gonna bake this for 15 minutes until it is golden and beautiful. Wow, this really is a showstopper. So good, and it's so impressive. It's like sweet potatoes with the most delicious marshmallow on top. Whether you want traditional, quick and easy, or extra fancy sweet potatoes this Thanksgiving, I hope you try one of these recipes. Make sure that you're subscribed to all recipes and look out for more Sideshow episodes coming soon.